So you have been playing Warframe for a while, and somewhere in the high MR range now, and whatever that number may be, it can probably be easy to get burnt out and bored. This can easily make you forget the fun parts of Warframe that make the grind not a grind, but more of a fun process that gives fun to the chase in Warframe. Keep in mind, this is what I like to do, and every player will have a different outlook. So with that being said, here are my 5 top things to do in Warframe Endgame. Number 1. Revisiting an old weapon. Have a backlog of forgotten weapons? I usually now at this point like to go back and see what weapons I really missed out on when leveling them up for fodder. I'm not gonna lie, I found a heap of weapons I now appreciate for either their quirkiness or unique gimmick. Some of the weapons I absolutely love despite stats are the Psychron, Kunai, the Meyer, and as of now, the MK1 series, which I love for nostalgic and design reasons. And sometimes, you never know when these weapons will get buffed. So forget me not. Number 2, Kuva. Needless to say, this is self-explanatory for all the ribbons you will be getting from sorties, and aside from specific weapons that need Kuva for crafting, Kuva will be your main source of currency when rerolling these endgame ribbons. The node Tavuni on the Kuva Fortress will be your alternative once you have exhausted all other planet Kuva siphons, and as a plus, you can also gain relics from the Kuva survival as well. Number 3, The Index. This is an occasional place to come and get credits, and a side note for those who don't know, if you manage to survive an hour in the Index, John Prodman, a Corpus Employee of the Month, will appear as a boss. Defeating him will result in his humorous photograph display for your ship. To add, John Prodman is a fictional character presented with a seemingly joking disposition who was born out of one of the Warframe dev streams, where he was occasionally joked about and eventually implemented as a joke character. No, an hour of medium risk investment can yield about a million credits with a booster. Number 4. Backed up relics. With all the relics stocked from endless missions, I like to run all my relics as much as I can so I can have a back stock for trade. And with anything in excess can be turned into ducats in lieu of Barrow's rival, so you don't have to grind for ducats on the day of Barrow's visit. And if not for ducats, you could sell your prime sets and loot in trade chat, or even better yet, set up an online vendor at warframe.market to further expedite and streamline your trade process. Number 5, Eidolons and Arcanes. This is a great incentive because once you get the feel for all three fights for the Tridolons, you can make the whole process more streamlined as you learn the meta and team comp for this. Did I mention you can get three Arcanes for doing the Tridolons and occasionally an Eidolon Articula? With a consistent team, you can get between three and eight Arcanes depending on the amount of Eidolon kills you can get within 50 minutes on a Cetus Knight rotation. So yeah, those are my top 5 things to do that keep me motivated and enjoying Warframe, and I hope it does for you too. This is a part 1 of many reasons, and if you guys want to see a part 2, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this to be helpful and enjoyable, please leave a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated. This is Calm Walks, signing out. See you, Tenno.